So um, I just want to show you guys how to use um, this batch cropper that we built. Um, we essentially made this to anonymize images in bulk whilst maintaining their file structure. Um, it's not so much um, images like CT scans or x-rays, but more so images like angiograms and screen captures from within hospitals that, that have sensitive patient information because um, they can't be um, anonymized, usually using software that comes with the uh, um, radiology system. So we developed this program to, to batch anonymize them um, um, on the hospital computers um, without having to export stuff to the cloud or off-site. So um, basically it runs on a Mac um, or, um, or a PC um, and uh, it's just a, a double-click executable which, um, which opens this window. Then you basically um, choose a folder where the images are that you want to um, anonymize. So we'll go um, source, choose a folder where you want to want to send your your cropped or anonymized images. Then basically just choose how many you want to anonymize, and then really. It gives you an example image and it's as simple as dragging this to the part of the screen that you want to crop or you can even add a patch like this and then you can even see how that looks on a on a subsequent file so it's pretty simple and easy to use then you just click run cropper cool all done and then you should see in the destination folder the time's correct, I haven't cheated, um, that the, the cropped images turn up in there. So we can just double check now that they're actually cropped. Yep. And if you scroll through here now, you can see images that are cropped at the top with my two ridiculously placed patches. So uh, this works with uh, multiple different file structures, including movies. Um, and obviously DICOM files and um, yeah it can be installed on your system it's pretty simple and easy to use and I'm um, very happy for you guys to give it a go.